Wheeler. I'm the president of the Art of Management. I wanted to talk to you today about creating the extraordinary patient experience. And I wanted to do it a little bit from my viewpoint as a patient and things that I notice when I go into a practice for the first time. And maybe that would help you see it from another person's viewpoint than the office viewpoint. First of all, I'm outside and I'm looking at the front of the practice, I'm looking at the signage, I'm looking at the ground, I'm looking for the number to make sure I've got the right place if I'm coming for the first time, right? And if it's dirty and there's, you know, pigeon poo-poo on the signage and there's too many words in the window and, you know, things like that, those are going to put me off. So, and if there's garbage on the ground, cigarette butts and stuff, you know, make sure those are always handled. Then you walk into the reception area. I have been greeted by some amazing receptionists who stand up and say, hi, I'm Joanne, may I help you? Um, one came around the counter and came over and shook my hands and greeted me as she didn't know who I was. So she assumed that I was coming for my appointment or I was just dropping into the practice to say hi and see if I like the people at the front desk because people do that sometimes. And um, so that greeting, but if they have known me already and saying, hi, Mrs. Wheeler, how are you? Nice to see you again. When I walk in the door is so entrancing to a patient as opposed to, hi, have a seat. <laughs> you know, like we're talking about creating an extraordinary patient experience, something above and beyond. Um, another thing is I have been greeted by staff who are totally phony and fake. Hi, Mrs. Wheeler, how are you? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> forget it, this is not the right place. Um, the, you know, so I get past reception, which hopefully you run on time because that is also very much part of creating the um, extraordinary patient experience is being treated on the time that you were told to be there and you're there, so why are you not into seeing the doctor right now? Um, another part is so you get in with the doctor and the doctor has not prepared him or herself as to what I'm supposed to be there for because based on last time's visit. So they didn't look at my chart or, you know, look at the chart of the patient um, to say, okay, so this time we're supposed to talk to you about blah, blah, blah. You know, um, sometimes the doctor isn't quite ready and an assistant will take me in first. And sometimes they're like really like, how are you doing? And you know, like that kind of boring thing. And they're not really interested in me. I'm just like another person they're seeing today. That is not an extraordinary patient experience. Okay. It should be being interested in me. Didn't you say your grandfather was going in the hospital last time you were here? How did that go? You know, cause you noted it in the charts. Um, so really caring about the person, really being interested in that person is, you know, even if you've seen 10 other people today or 15, I still should be a unique individual and be having somebody who's interested in me because that is, you know, how I feel as a patient. I'm not saying I'm a prima donna or anything like that because I'm certainly not, but to be recognized for who I am and, and, you know, ask questions by somebody who really is interested in me is different than somebody who's just making chat chat because they're supposed to until the doctor gets in the room. Do you know what I mean? And, um, and then the doctor, of course, greeting me and being interested and listening to me and asking me my thoughts on things and so on so that I'm engaged. Um, and then as I go out the door, I am leaving, I've paid, I've booked my next appointment, you know, a cheery goodbye, Mrs. Wheeler. It's, you won't believe how these small things make a huge difference to patients. Of course, there's a million other things like having curried coffee makers in the office and the hot towel if you're at a dental office, the hot towel to clean your face with a mirror after you've been treated. Uh, if you're, you know, a, a chiropractor, you know, making sure that the person's got their belt on, that their makeup isn't all smeared from laying face down on wax paper or something, you know. Um, these things are all super important. And I've had staff at the front desk say, Mrs. Wheeler, just have a little spot here from when you were in the treatment room. You might want to have a look at that in, in the washroom, you know, which was really kind and caring. Other people have let me walk out looking like that. And that's like, that's not, that's so embarrassing when you look in the mirror in your car, when you get in your car <laughs> and you go, oh no, I walked out like that. So, you know, there's a lot of care goes into that person and making it special. It will make your day as the doctor and staff go by better if each person is an alive person and, and you're working on that extraordinary patient experience 
every person that you see that day, I think your day will be a lot happier as well because you're making the patient happy. Okay, so that's just a little thing for me uh, to you as a patient to a, a practitioner. Okay, so that's all for today. Bye for now, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.